Good morning, everybody. It's your friend and brother, Derek Day. And uh, I'm shooting my video uh, today indoors because we're having some work done outside and it's a little noisy and there's a little bit of action going on out there. So I'm doing this from the comforts of my living room. And last week in our Everyday Encouragement, we talked about hope and how hope it resonates in our lives, how it works in our lives. So this week, I'm talking about faith. From now until Friday, it's all about faith. And let me tell you this, that first of all, faith is the currency of the kingdom of God. And so therefore, just like how we get motivated about natural currency, about U.S. dollars, we should be motivated about faith. Now, here's the catch. Let me help you with something, and this is going to really, really motivate you because there are so many people that are on the treadmill of religion that are working on trying to build their faith. They're trying to grow their faith. I got to get more faith. I got to acquire more faith, and they treat it as if it's an object to be attained, and it's not. It's actually part of your birthright as a citizen of the kingdom of God. It's part of your birthright as a child of God. So, so watch this. Instead of trying to attain this, we should simply rest in the fact that we have it. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's not even your faith, brother or sister. It's God's faith. It, it, the Hebrews uh, tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But guess what? It's his faith, not your faith. And And people are always talking about faith that moves God, faith that motivates God. Listen, God's not motivated by your faith. He's not moved by your faith because you, God was God before you showed up, before you even thought about, before you even, uh, before you even were frost on God's beer mug. God, God was God and he didn't need your faith, but God has his faith and his faith is what framed the worlds. His faith is what spoke to darkness and said, light be. That was God's faith. Now, if we want to have uh, something that motivates us, understand that now, because of Jesus, God's faith is available to us. That's good news. Because, listen, when Jesus said in Mark 11 about having faith to move a mountain, he, you know, the, the most scriptural renditions render it as have the faith, have faith in God. But the reality is, is that that passage of scripture actually says have the God kind of faith or have God's faith. So if you have God's faith, God's faith can actually move a mountain. Yours can't. I, I hate to tell you this, but your faith can't really do much of anything. But God's faith can. And when you have confidence in his faith, in his ability, and you tap into that, brother, sister, you can do anything. There is nothing that you can't do. Why? Because you're tapped into the force or the power or the currency of he who can do anything. And that's, that should be motivating. So it's Motivational Monday, and we're talking about faith, and I'll tell you what, uh, 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 one of our uh, viewers just said, God is moved by compassion. I, you know what? God isn't really moved by anything. God expects us to move. We're, we're sitting up waiting for a move of God, and God is waiting for a move of us. God's already moved. The move of God was Jesus, and when he moved, that was it. It settled everything. Now what we have to do is we have to tap into the stream that he's given us. But we have to understand that, that living in Christ is swimming upstream. Why? Because even a dead fish can move downstream. That, that's the reality. But we're alive. We're been, we've been made alive in Christ. So we are to be swimming upstream against the things of the world, swimming upstream against the things that are contrary to the kingdom of God. That's what we should be doing. And I'm going to tell you again, it's not your faith. It's his. Tap into his faith and watch what you can do. And, and if, you're not, if you're not sure about that, then do some time 
communing with him and say, hey, God, how do I tap into your faith? And he's faithful to show you. All, all I can say is this, that uh, if you really want to tap into his faith, tap into his love and understand his grace. And and you'll see that that faith show up. That's pretty much what I have for you today. I pray that you have an awesome day. If you have any comments or questions, hit me up at www.derekday.com uh, or you can reach me at facebook.com forward slash Derek Day Ministries or on uh, YouTube uh, at Derek Day, that's the channel, or um, on Instagram or Twitter. My handle is Derek E. Day, that's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-E-D-A-Y, uh, or on, um, on iTunes or on Google Play, you can catch our podcast. But I pray that this blesses you, and I hope it motivates you, hope it gets your motor running, and that's pretty much it. So have a magnificent Monday. God loves you, and so do I. Talk to you later. Bye.